We're going to be feeding three animals in this video. Alright guys, my name is Thomas Passy and today we're going to be feeding three of my pets. Before I start the video, I wanted to show you guys my Bell Albino Leopard Gecko named Oscar. I've had Oscar for a few years now. He's the nicest and biggest gecko I have. If you want to start keeping reptiles, leopard geckos like Oscar are perfect for starters. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel with post notifications turned on so that you know whenever I post a new video. Thank you to everyone who sent something to my P.O. Box and if you want to send something yourself, the information for the P.O. Box will be right here on the screen or in the description. Alright, so let's feed some animals. I think Oscar wants to bite my hand. I'm not really sure what he's doing right now. Alright, so here's my pink toe tarantula. I got her about a month ago and this is going to be me feeding her a dubia roach. Let's see how she reacts. I'm going to drop it right by her legs. Oh, alright. That was a good strike. And now, maybe she'll take it back into her cork bark and eat it in private. If you look closely right here, you can see the fang of the pink toe tarantula. And it actually still hasn't pierced the cockroach. Alright, so here is my Mexican red knee tarantula. I raised this one up since it was the size of a dime. And right now, I'm going to be feeding it a dubia roach. And I'm going to be dropping it right next to her legs. I'm going to drop it right now. Three, two... One. And that was a perfect strike. And that was a perfect strike, like always, from my Mexican red knee tarantula. These make great starter tarantulas. So if you want to get into keeping tarantulas, I definitely recommend this species. Alright, so here is my vinegaroon. This is an acid spraying bug and I'm going to be feeding it a dubia roach just like the other two tarantulas. So I'm going to be dropping it right now. Three, two, one. Oh, it's chasing it. It's chasing it. And is it going to get it? Here, what I'm going to try to do is try to give it straight from the tongs. Maybe it'll just take it. This is called tongue feeding. And I'll let it grab it right now. It's grabbing the tongs. Let me grab some skinnier tongs. Alright, now I'm back with skinnier tongs and I'm going to be feeding it through a method called tongue feeding. And there we go, I grabbed it. And now it should slowly start eating it. Here you can see a really cool shot of it eating. You can kind of see its eyes right there. And the cockroach is still moving a little bit. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give me a like, comment your favorite part, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.